OK, so let's say I want to use the Newton Raphson iterative formula with starting value x1 equals 2 to solve sine x equals 0 to 5 decimal places. OK, so f of x in this case is sine x. So f prime is cosine of x. OK, so the iterative formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn take away sine of xn over cosine of xn. Ooh. Let's try that again. Cosine of xn. So really, that's just tan of xn. Okay. So we could write that as xn plus 1 plus xn take away tan of xn. OK, so we've been given a starting value of x1 is equal to 2. OK, so we want to do 2. Um, so put it in the answer. So answer key, take away tan of the answer key. Now, you want to make sure your calculator is in radians here, OK, because we're using derivatives. So you must make sure we're in radians for anything that is calculus related. So press equals. And we get our first answer out, so 4.185039, etc. OK, press equals again, 2.467893, uh, etc. X4, 3.266186. etc. X5. 3.140943 x6 3.141592 x7 and my calculator for x7 just goes directly to pi okay so um Really, what I'm looking for here is the decimal equivalent because I just need to check that now I've got agreement to 6. Okay, I have found that alpha is going to be 3.141592 to 5 decimal places as required. And we know, really, the calculator knew that alpha uh, was pi. And it is because we've got sine curve here. And here is pi. And what we've done is we've started off at the point 2, gone up to the curve, we've drawn a tangent line. OK, we've got to this point here, which is the 4.185. We've then gone down, we've drawn a tangent line, okay? We've got to the 2.467, okay? It might be a little bit further out than that. And we go up to the curve, line, curve, line, curve, line, and we are homing in on pi, as required. 